Hey everybody. So, uh, I'm just gonna do this uh, Q&A real quick. I know I posted it a while ago. Um, I know that it's a little sloppy, the way it's looking. I wanted to record my webcam on OBS. Uh, I don't really feel like breaking out the phone and editing it in Premiere, so this is gonna be all one-shotted. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I posted this about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I just want to, I just want to answer these questions that you guys submitted me for the 8K Q&A. Um, now again, most of my activity has been on the other channel, um, but yeah, I will address any questions that involve this channel if it comes up, which probably will. All right. Um, and I'm just gonna go in order of submission and all of the comments should be on here there were some spam comments but only one of them was for the Q&A and yeah there were some in the held for review section but now it should be all said all right so top Josh asks do you know any cars like Ferrari or Lamborghini <laughs> if so which car do you like the most well I do know about Ferraris and Lamborghinis but I don't really care about vehicles I mostly just care about like um, what gets me from point A to point B so I don't really uh, I don't really want to spend a lot of money on a car when I'd rather spend that money on other things <laughs> like I'd much rather save up money to like buy a house or something than to get a fancy looking car um, so yeah uh, don't really care about cars all that much <laughs> also forgive me if uh, if, like this highlighting thing gets a little annoying I just do it because it helps me like focus on a word or whatever um, what type of music do you listen to who do you listen to a lot um good question so I listen to a, a huge variety of music but I'd say that my most frequent artist that I listen to is Ella Air um, yeah I just love her music it's fantastic and uh, I definitely uh, recommend that you listen to it if you're into like kind of uh, upbeat pop type music with uh, a little bit of a, a D and B vibe too. Uh, I really like her stuff. Uh, I I like D and B in general, so it's probably my favorite uh, genre. But uh, yeah, I like all kinds of music. It just depends on like if I think the song is good or not because I think there's good and bad songs for every genre. Alright. Hi, Preb and Cole. Long time no here. Well, actually, you have commented a couple of times, but I haven't really responded. Um, <laughs> are you going to react to the Season 7 MLP finale? Or have you already done it in private? Would love it if you haven't. Um, I don't plan on it. I never really planned on reacting to anything MLP after Season 6. Um, with the exception of friendship games <laughs> I like made a promise a long time ago that I would react to friendship games uh, but I don't know maybe it's not worth reacting to um, if anything I could just react to the MLP movie consider that my personal finale uh, which goes into your second question will you make a video on the MLP movie like a reaction since it's such a hype movie and a big deal and all or have you already watched it no I haven't watched it but uh, yeah I could record my reactions of the movie. Um, not sure how that would go with like Hasbro and you know copyright and all that. Um, I'm kind of just trying to stay away from reactions in general because it's just such a it's such a copyright intense thing that has become very controversial over the past couple of years, and uh, not just that, but like um, I. I've been doing it for so long that I've kind of lost interest and lost motivation to do it. So that's why I've been focusing on the other channel with my, my live streams and all that. I used to do a lot of live streaming on this channel too, but um, it wasn't the original purpose for this channel and uh, it doing it on the other channel gives me a chance to really focus on it. So uh, that's basically why I haven't done it or anything past season six. But uh, Certainly, I'll consider reacting to the M the MLP movie. Uh, 
Lastly, I first thought you'd left the fandom on the whole reaction thing, but since there's been videos lately... Oh, but there's been videos lately, so I'm wondering, are you officially coming back? Uh, I wouldn't plan on it. <laughs> and if so, season 8? Though again, the finale plus the movie would have been a great ending if you aren't coming back to it. There's a lot of talk about that season 7 finale, huh? Um, I probably have to watch the rest of season 7 first because I haven't even watched a single episode of season 7 um and yeah it's cool that like season 8 is happening like I'm happy for the show and all that but um I just haven't really been into it <laughs> I haven't even been that mad about like seeing spoilers and stuff because I just don't know when I'm going to watch the show again I'm sure I will eventually even if it's in my own free time but I don't know. Well, then again, you know, just the season 7 finale and just, like, the MLP movie, that's not too much to ask for, so. Um, it's certainly a lot easier to do than, like, an entire another season or two, so. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to rule it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Samuel Chabot? Chabot? Uh, do you have any videos planned in the few following months? Um, not really. <laughs> this is, again, like, if you're talking this channel, Pied is like your swag, no. Um, I, I still want to react to, like, the Count the Monte Cristo stuff, because I know that, uh, now Count Mon Sparkle has been asking for that forever, and I just never got to it. So, uh, I think that would be my first priority. And then other stuff, like, potentially the MLP movie and whatnot, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd be putting any other videos on the channel. Unless, you know, I do something randomly without planning it, which is very well possible. Um, are you keeping up with MLP Season 8? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't even kept up with Season 7. Uh, Anthony J. Lopez asks... Have you ever traveled to United Kingdom to meet Jack D. Herbert for the first time? Um, no. I, I don't think I ever meet Jack D. Herbert. Unless I went to, like, a convention or something. But even then, uh, that would just be coincidental. It wouldn't be for the purpose of meeting him. If I happen to meet him, cool. But, like, I don't really care. I, I mean, he's just another YouTuber that has gone and done other stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm not even sure he'd show up to uh, another Brony convention. Maybe. Maybe, because I know he still has friends that are in the fandom. Uh, and number two, where do you live at? Um, the state of New York. I'll just leave it at that. Faith Turo Goddard asks, will you be continuing the games you were doing? Uh, She's talking about game development. I'm still here to assist. Besides that, how is your job going so far? My job is... Eh, I don't like it. But uh, it gives me money. And the money allows me to buy things which I can focus on. Like streaming. Or like my own personal entertainment. Like uh, I'm thinking about getting a VR headset. I've already uh, upgraded my PC. So now it has a graphics card. So like the job has done some good things for me. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely uh, don't enjoy it, and I've been looking for other jobs in the meantime. Uh, and as for the games that I was doing, I'm still still trying to develop it. I've I've even actually talked to you, Faith, about this. So um, yeah, uh, pretty much I'm. I just need to like <laughs> focus and uh, try and make maybe the smallest game I can think of before. Uh, actually like going in further detail <laughs> got to start small first and learn the fundamentals but as it goes with learning anything really uh swirl dip 82 asks it's been a while pi how are you i've been doing okay uh my question is have you ever saw the movie my little pony the movie and if you do what did you think uh nope never seen it i hope to see it sometime uh, I just haven't really gotten around to it, <laughs> but I will watch it eventually. Uh, I don't know if I'll react to it or not. Possibly. Uh, we'll see. 
Okay, uh, Cosas de A.R. Eroy asks, what is your opinion about the next MLP generation? <laughs> and then Psychowolf has this interesting follow-up comment. Uh, they're ruining everything. The world's coming to an end. They made... Tw is that true? Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know we were getting into spoiler territory with the, the next MLP generation, G5. I mean, it was... Like, G4 has lasted a while. So, yeah, I'm not surprised at all that G5 is eventually going to happen. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like video game console generations, you know, eventually you get the next level of stuff. And you get, you know, different Pokemon generations. So, yeah, I get it. Um... I think that there's a limit to how much G4 can work when it comes to like world expansion and everything. So yeah, um, I don't know if G5 will be as good as G4, but hey, uh, uh, I think the girls that, and you know, uh, let's be real for a second, MLP was made for young girls. That said, like in respect to that, those girls have grown up and now there's going to be a new generation of kids that want to watch the show or are going to watch the show and uh, it's going to be different for them and there's going to be new characters and probably, you know, new worlds to discover and all that and uh, yeah, uh, I don't like the idea of the gen... I think the generation thing is kind of cool because it mixes everything up and it keeps it from getting stale. Like, a lot of people complain about Spongebob and The Simpsons and how they have lasted forever, but if a show has different generations, it can go on and on and on and not get stale because, you know, it's changed up and it's different, and I think that's good. Um, if it were to me, maybe I'd consider, like, making an MLP universe where, like, the Cutie Mark Crusaders are the main characters, and that could be its own different show. And I think that would still be really cool. Like, you could have the Cutie Mark Crusaders as adults and everything, and, yeah, I could see them being the main characters of their own show and be, like, the sort of, like, half-generation step, maybe? All right. Uh, yes, I have... I believe I've played Spyro 5 with Hero's Tale. Um, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, so let me just read out the question. Zark asks, I recall you've played Spyro 5 with Hero's Tale. That's true. So I'm just wondering, how are you feeling about classic Spyro making a comeback in the trilogy remakes? Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I like the idea of classic Spyro coming back because I heard a lot of great things about the original PS1 games even though I've never played them but uh, yeah to see it getting remastered is really cool um, maybe I'll play it on PS4 or maybe there will be a version that comes out for Nintendo Switch like the Crash Bandicoot games happened so yeah I'm, I'm keeping my hopes up for that because I don't have a PS4 right now but I do have a Switch uh, Super Brony Sparkle asks, All right, it's been a few years, so it's time for me to finally ask you again. Do you dislike pies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I do dislike pies. Not, like, as much as it would, like, be implied, but, yeah. I gotta, I gotta keep it up, man. I gotta, I gotta keep up the whole, you know, pie dislike a thing. If I... My name is Pie Dislike, and I don't dislike pies. What kind of person am I? Probably a liar. <laughs> okay, Josh Blackwell asks, What is your least favorite game? Oh, that's a good one. Hold up. I gotta think about this. <laughs> I'm not gonna include PC games, because there's too many of that, and I'm not gonna include mo mobile games. So I'm just gonna include out of the console games that I own. And I really need to think about this. Um, what game did I think was horrible? Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go through uh, the games that I have real quick. Uh, which one? Which one?
Okay, you know what? Um, there was a couple of names, but I can't really find them right now. Um, so I'll just go with the like the rebranded Spyro games. Like they were a bit later. Like uh, my my sister actually played them and really liked them, but I hated them because it took everything that I loved about Spyro and changed it. Um. Yeah. Um, a New Beginning and Dawn of the Dragon. I hated those games, so I'll go with those. Uh, if you owned a planet, what would you name it? Interesting question. Um, I would probably... I would probably name it after, like, some sort of person who is, like, very influential um, and did a lot of good. Like, uh, like, for example, Malala Yousafzai. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but she's a huge influential person at a very young age, and yeah, I can see that happening. Um, yeah, so I'd probably go with something like that. Uh, maybe just, uh, Malala. <laughs> just name a planet, like, after a really, uh, influential person uh spiral link fan 1991 asks when you became a, the brony when did you react to the mlp show for the first time um so the first time that i became a brony was like in between seasons two and three season two just ended season three was about to start uh and i reacted to the mlp an MLP episode for the first time. It was actually my first MLP reaction. It was, uh... It was meant to be, like, uh... It was originally c recorded as, like, a collab video. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Shoot, you know what? I still remember that I still have my reaction to Twilight's Kingdom unlisted. Because, like, people were praising that episode when it came out. And I was I was a pretty big critique of that episode. So I still have that episode unlisted on my channel. And I could release it at any time. I should probably do that sometime soon. Um, but yeah, the season 3 finale, Magical Mystery Cure, was my first reaction I ever recorded. And it originally wasn't even for this channel. Um... And that was recorded alongside my sister. I have it now posted on this channel, so you can watch it if you want. Uh, Kawaii Kami asks, are traps gay? No, <laughs> they are not. Um, gay is when, like, you're attracted to the same sex. And if I was attracted to just a guy, straight up a guy, then that would be gay. But traps uh according to the logic is uh basically just a transgender woman so uh the only thing is that she you know she has a little extra <laughs> um so no i mean it, it might not be entirely straight either but it's like somewhere in between it's somewhere in between it's uh not entirely gay, not entirely straight. <laughs> uh, okay, Master Max 888 asks a bunch of questions. A lot of questions. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, who is your least favorite YouTuber? Oh, good question, good question. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> I, I think that was a pretty easy answer, actually. Um, what is your favorite video on Flying Shark's channel? Uh, probably just... <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Pro yeah, yeah, actually, I do know. Uh, definitely your reaction to the s'mores video. <laughs> you and him collabing and doing the s'mores video. But I also liked your Q&A, where you answered a bunch of questions, so that was really good, too. Uh, have you ever played Danganronpa? If not, will you consider live streaming the game someday? Yeah, maybe. I've never played it. So, yeah, I could be up for live streaming that game. <laughs> um, 
You said it's like similar to Phoenix Wright though, and uh, I definitely want to play through the Phoenix Wright series before I touch down on Roba. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite YouTube video? What is your favorite video on the Pyta Slicker Swag channel? Ooh, that's a tough one. Hold up, man. Um, hmm. I mean, I could say like one of the reactors like Cherry's videos or uh, one of the Graham Reaper videos, but I don't. I don't think that's it. I think I can, I don't know, man. Um Let's see here. Yeah, you know probably the Praise the Sun video that I made. There's a bunch of other good ones too that I really enjoyed, but I think I think Praise the Sun was probably my favorite one out of all of them. Yeah, I think I'd go with that. Uh, so just search Pied is like a Praise the Sun if um, if you want to watch that video. It's it's pretty good. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that I really like too, but uh, yeah, I'd probably go with that. Uh, what does Jen Yukari Shai look like? Oh, mm, mm. Well, you said she's a potato, so I'm going to assume that she looks similar to a potato, but not quite a potato, maybe a sweet potato. <laughs> Any thoughts on Alex Side's new haircut? Okay, uh, hold up. I was actually watching an Alex Side video as we uh, speak, so... Uh, yeah, I was watching him play Super Mario RPG. Oh shoot, right, I'm still offline. But uh, yeah, his haircut was basically like bald, 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 bald. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was watching it and then I went offline. I don't know how long I've been offline for, but it's been a little bit. Um, but luckily, I had this page open because I was planning on uh, working on the video before I went offline. So, yeah, I'll take it. Um, will you subscribe to me on Twitch? Most of the reactors like Terry's community subscribed already. I have. I have since you posted that question. Um, but I used Twitch Prime to do that. So, I didn't pay anything. I was cheap. <laughs> Do you worship Junko and Oshima like you should? To be honest, bro, I barely know who Junko is. I know she's a Danganronpa character, and I know what she looks like, but I don't know anything about her. Like, anything about her personality or anything. All I know is that she's your current waifu right now. Whatever happened to Yuri? <laughs> Whatever happened to Anna? Or Anna? Uh, and whatever happened to Trixie, man? <sighs> You're discarding waifus left and right, man. You're sending them to the graveyard, bruh. Alright. Cycle Wolf Unit asks, uh, uh, it looks like, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Do you want your money back? As in, okay, so he's not seriously asking this. He's asking this, uh, it's like an inside joke because um, in Persona 5, there was like a character that scammed me out of a bunch of money. So whenever I see her, I'm like, money back, money back, money back. And it's hilarious. It's a great routine. I love it. Um, who's your favorite member of the Fan of Thieves in Persona 5 besides Douglas, a.k.a. Akira? Um... <sighs> I'm kind of torn between Ryuji and Makoto. I really like both of them. I think they're like super cool characters. So, uh, I guess I'll just go with Ryuji for now. <laughs> uh, Twitter shy asks, if you owned a yacht or boat, what would you name it? And yes, Bodhi McBoat face is already taken. Um, hmm. A yacht or a boat? Hmm. The SS Bakery. Yeah, I'll go with that. The SS Bakery. 
Uh, is Zabstrax from Australia or United Kingdom? Zabstrax's channel isn't around anymore, but uh, we recorded a video together, and uh, yeah, uh, he, he, he did a lot of great things. He was Australian, uh, and he was an awesome Australian. <laughs> Flying s'more. Am I? I am a s'more? Yes, you are. You are a s'more. Are you going to make another food review? Oh shoot, I made a food review on the Pytus Liker channel as like a parody joke. Um, it wasn't meant to be anything seriously. <laughs> um, I pr I'm not planning on making any other food reviews, but I'll let you know if I change my mind, because that's very, very possible. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. Alright, so thank you guys for asking these questions, I really appreciate it. I know that there's still a lot of people that want to see more videos on this channel. But all of my energy right now is on the other channel, and yeah, some of you guys have been appreciating and enjoying the videos, well, not really videos, but streams that I've been doing on that channel, and I, I do kind of want to record videos on that channel, but I haven't been dedicated enough for it. Um, so anyway, if you want to get in touch with me, easiest way is to hit up my Twitter, at PyDisLiker, or you can check out the Discord, uh, it's called The Bakery. And, uh, yeah, um, I'll probably link both of those things in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys for coming out and replying to my 8K Q&A. This channel will probably be forever at 8,000 subscribers, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys showing up and doing your thing, and I'll see you guys sometime later. Peace.